Hello, this is Peter with another video. And today I've got another pineapple guava or feijoa video. Uh, these are two new varieties that arrived today. Uh, I know I filmed a video the other day of uh, two varieties I got, um, but I was quite excited with this one as um, these were larger specimens that I received. And this one here, has already flowered so it's already got a few flowers um, formed on it already and this is the first one that's already opened and there's another three here I just spotted this one here as well since I put it outside and there's at least another two or three flowers in different parts of this uh, this plant one over here somewhere as well. Um, I can't find it now, but oh yeah, there it is. Just down below, the camera won't focus now. Yeah, so there's it's already about six or seven flowers on this uh, pineapple guava or feijoa, and this variety is unique. Um, which is supposed to be a self-fertile variety uh, which is uh, quite exciting actually because I didn't expect to uh, to get flowers on the first year uh, but these uh, these plants were already quite well established compared to the other um, Fijoas that I received the other day this one is the, the mammoth that I received which is very young plant in comparison and um, they were considerably more expensive as well um, due to the, the larger size of these plants um, but there wasn't anywhere else at least that I could find in the UK that you could get um, the unique variety from um, so I ended up getting this larger plant and have been pleasantly surprised by seeing flowers on it already. The next uh, variety that I got um, as well at the same time is Apollo. Um, this one is also quite a large, got a large trunk on it. Um, some of the bark just peeled off there actually. Um, yeah, there's no sign of flowers on this one yet. Um, it's uh, been cut back by the looks of it, probably for packaging in the um, in the box. So I'm not sure if this will flower this year or not, um, but I don't expect them to this year anyway. So yeah, I'm going to keep this video quite short, but if anyone has any experience with um, pollinating these uh, pineapple guavas by hand, please let me know. Um, I have seen a few videos of um, some other people pollinating their Fijo flowers, uh, so I'm going to go back and watch some of them again. I think uh, one of the channels I watch is uh, Lionheart. 84 and he has uh, quite detailed videos on hand pollination so I'm going to go back and watch some of his videos um, apparently also the flower petals are edible on these on these plants so I might give one a go see what it tastes like I don't damage the uh, quite well. I might have to put the camera down so I don't break the flower too completely. I only got about half of the petal there. I'm not going to pull the rest off because I don't want to damage the flower. But 
doesn't really have too much flavour to me. It tastes quite grassy actually. <laughs> Maybe a hint of sweetness as well. Yeah, I probably wouldn't bother with the petals unless maybe this is too early to um, to taste the uh, the petals. Maybe I have to leave them a bit later. I'm not too sure. But anyway, that's uh, the two new varieties: Apollo and Unique. And then I have the the other two, as I said, the uh, the Mammoth and the triumph that I received um, a few days ago. I'm going to um, probably going to need to repot these first two that I received quite soon because they're very undersized um, containers. And even these here might need a repot soon as well, um, especially this unique, it's a lot taller than the uh, than the Apollo so it's a bit top heavy I don't want this plant to blow over in the wind uh, very easily so I might repot this as well so yeah if anyone has any tips on how to pollinate the flowers uh, please let me know I know you can use a paintbrush or your finger uh, but I don't know when the pollen is actually receptive uh, from a flower and I'm also not too sure um, whether you have to use a different flower or if the pollen from the same flower is fine to use. I don't expect these to um, produce any fruits this year but it would be uh, it would be a bonus if I could get one of these to um, to hold on and produce some fruit. But yeah thank you all for watching don't forget to like subscribe and ring the notification bell and I'll see you in the next video.